Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'll be providing you with a list of schools that have guaranteed full funding for those interested in a graduate degree in English. So basically if you are admitted into any of these programs I'll be providing you with today, you have automatic funding. You are funded for the duration of your degree either at the master's or doctoral level. So some of them are providing full funding just for doctoral degree some are providing just for master's degree some are providing for both but i'll be um, clarifying that later on in the video one thing i would like to point out is that these graduate programs in english at these various institutions have different specialization so if you're interested in like a particular focus area such as like rhetorics linguistics literary studies literature or even creative writing you can definitely apply to these programs because there will definitely be like a specialization for you so you just have to check out each institution on this list to see what specializations they are offering so just because you just see masters in english and you're interested in literature you're like oh i'm not going to apply it's not literature yes it might be literature okay because they have different specializations the overarching like degree you just get will be like a master's in english or a phd in english but you're able to still specialize in a particular interest area if you're interested in like maybe linguistics creative writing you know rhetorics and composition um literary studies and you know so yeah definitely check it out and before we dive right in make sure to give this video a thumbs up yep yep and subscribe to my channel if you're watching without subscribing so let's go the first university on our list is emory university and right here it says that all graduate students who are admitted to the english department at emory are funded for five years through a graduate school fellowship and then they go on to list the fellowship and it says that all fellowships come with a 12 month annual stipend for tuition remission and health insurance and then they go on to provide more information about the funding packages so make sure to check on Mary university how to be interested in a graduate degree in english the next institution is the West Virginia University and right here it says that every student admitted to the MA program is guaranteed funding for two academic years, the customary time to degree as a graduate teaching assistant and then they go on to say that this position includes an annual salary of $16,000, a waiver of university tuition and a student health insurance. Similarly, in the PhD program, it says that every student admitted to the PhD program receives funding for up to seven academic years as a graduate teaching assistant. And they go on to say that this position includes an annual salary of $18,500, a tuition waiver, and student health insurance so make sure to check west virginia out if you're interested in either a master's or phd in english the next institution is university of notre dame and right here it says that all students admitted into the ma the mfa and phd programs receive full tuition scholarships the scholarships continue during their course of study as long as satisfactory progress is made towards matriculation and students in the phd program can expect full funding for five years tuition plus stipend so basically if you are admitted into any of the graduate programs in the department of english at the university of notre dame you get to study for free so moving on the next institution on our list is the Ohio State University and then if we scroll down to the funding part right here it says that the Department of English makes every attempt possible to provide funding to students who are admitted to the MA and PhD program. The number of years of funding is based on whether the student is admitted with a bachelor's or master's degree. And it says that funding is renewed on a yearly basis as long as the student maintains satisfactory academic progress. And they go on to list the types of funding they have available, which is the graduate teaching associateships and the graduate school fellowships. And they also provide some information about those funding opportunities so check out the ohio state university if you're interested in a master's or phd program in english 
The next university on our list is the University of Mississippi and at this university all students admitted to the PhD, MA and MFA programs in the Department of English will receive a teaching assistantship which includes full tuition remission, subsidized health insurance and a base stipend to defray living expenses. So definitely check out the University of Mississippi if you are interested in a master's or PhD in English. So moving on, the next university on our list is the University of Alabama Tuscaloosa and right here it says that students admitted to the graduate program are guaranteed up to five years of full financial support, up to four years for the MFA, up to two years for, for the MA. All admitted students qualify for graduate assistantships, which include a stipend paid over nine months, currently $14,364, and full payment of up to 15 credit hours of graduate tuition. And that's it from the University of Alabama. Moving on, the next university on our list is the University of California, Los Angeles. And in the Department of English at this institution, all entering students are offered a six-year funding package that includes a minimum of two years of full fellowship, four years of summer stipend support, and up to four years of teaching assistantships. Tuition, fees, and health insurance are included throughout. And then the department also provides additional funding on a yearly basis as available for graduate student conference travel, summer institute tuition, and summer language study tuition. So definitely check UCLA out if you're interested in a graduate degree in English. Up next is the University of Wisconsin-Madison and right here it says that all doctoral students in the English department are fully funded for six years. Students are typically funded through a combination of fellowships, teaching assistantships, research assistantships and work in the writing center. And there's more information about each of these funding opportunities on this page, so definitely check it out. Up next is the University of Wyoming and right here it says that all graduate students admitted to the campus-based master's in English degree program receive a two-year fully funded graduate assistantship that includes free tuition, teaching opportunities and a living stipend so you can focus entirely on your graduate studies and teaching. So definitely check the University of Wyoming out. Up next is the University of Illinois Chicago and right here it says that accepted doctoral students are normally automatically awarded six years of departmental funding via a teaching assistantship. They also have a couple of funding opportunities available for master's students however it's not automatically awarded as the PhD program. And that's it from the University of Illinois, Chicago. The next institution on our list is J. Madison University and it says that right here, for virtually all full-time students, the MA in English program is fully funded. Students receive funding through a combination of graduate assistantships held by the English department and partnership with other offices on campus, which provide valuable professional experience that supplements their graduate coursework. Graduate assistants receive a full tuition waiver and a stipend for their two years in the program in this multifaceted assistantship structure. So yeah, definitely check out James Madison University. Up next is the University of Virginia and right here it says that as of fall 2018, PhD students entering the program will receive a financial package consisting of tuition, fees, one person health insurance coverage and approximately $30,000.
this award made up of fellowships and teaching assistantships will be maintained for up to a total of five years contingent on satisfactory academic performance and they go on to provide more information about the financial support for phd candidates and they also have more information about the financial for support for ma candidates however it's not automatically awarded as it is for phd candidates at this institution up next is oregon state university and right here it states that to enable our school fully fund our incoming students, the MA program now offers three sources of financial support. One, all students admitted to the MA in English program will automatically receive a standard graduate teaching assistantship contract, which provides full tuition remission and stipend of approximately $12,800 per year to cover living expenses. Two, all applicants will be considered for external GTA and GRE positions in academic and professional units beyond the School of Writing, Literature and Film. And three, all applicants are automatically considered for Oregon State Provost Fellowships, which cover all resident or non-resident tuition and provides a $24,000 stipend for living expenses during the first year. So basically, these are the ways they provide full funding for all their incoming students into the Masters of English program right here. And they also say that in addition to tuition remission, all graduate students have the option to receive 89% coverage of health insurance costs for themselves and their dependents. And they also have travel funds available to students who are presenting at an academic conference. Up next is Boston University and at Boston University, PhD students in the English department are guaranteed at least five years of funding, typically including two years of duty-free fellowship support. And it says right here that admitted students should expect to receive departmental fellowships providing full tuition, fees, basic health insurance and an annual stipend of around $28,000. And they go on to state what the funding include and other additional funds available through competitive fellowships in the department. So yes, definitely check out Boston University if you are interested in a PhD in English. They also provide some funding for their master's students, however, it's not guaranteed as it is for the PhD students. The last institution on our list is Columbia University and in the English and Comparative Literature PhD program at Columbia University, all students in the doctoral program receive full financial support through year six as long as they make satisfactory progress. And they go on to state that teaching and research experience are considered an important aspect of the training of PhD students. Thus, graduate fellowships include some teaching and research apprenticeship. So you can definitely check out this institution if you're interested in a PhD in English and comparative literature. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you find it helpful. Do not forget to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it helps my channel's visibility. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of the week.